guys, welcome back to Relatable Girl. Today I'm going to be doing my first makeup tutorial. Um, and today's look is going to be for a glitter eye look. Um, to me, this is an everyday look, but I love glitter, so, you know, it might not be your everyday look. But, um, this is going to be something fun and sparkly that you can do. Um, anytime you want to just add some extra pizzazz. So, all right, let's get started. Um, I use an oval brush for my foundation and any drops or anything that I add to that. Um, I have quite a few different foundations now that I've found that work for super pale skin. I'm very fair. Um, but one of my absolute favorites is Tarte's Amazonian Clay. They're full coverage kind. Um, it has some sunscreen in it. Not much. It's SPF 15, which for us pale folks is like nothing. But, um, but this is an excellent foundation for full coverage. I know for me, I don't always want full coverage. Sometimes I just want something sheer, but when I'm a little broken out or if I'm doing a full makeup look, I want my face to be as uniform as possible. And this gives you great coverage without looking like you're wearing a ton of makeup, which is also important to me because I don't like my skin looking super makeup-y. Um, I'm also using a tiny bit, I'm just using a drop, literally only need a drop of the Cover FX um, Custom Enhancer Drops. This one's Moonlight. I had, I had the full size of this. I ran out, so I'm using my, my baby size right now, but whatever. So I start sort of on the cheeks and I rub everything nicely in. Get under the eyes. I don't, I, I use only a tiny drop, like tiny, tiny, tiny drop of foundation or drops or whatever because I don't like my skin to feel heavy and I don't like it to look cakey. So I, I literally use the tiniest drop and then I work it around everywhere, even down into my neck. Um, and if I have acne spots, which is something that still happens to me, I do still break out. Um, I come back over those later with concealer. Um, I don't use powder because I like a more dewy look. So for me, that's skin sorted most of the time. Um, I usually go ahead and move on to eyes next. Um, so one of my favorite looks recently is um, sort of a holographic halo effect in the middle and then um, a nice earthy tone outside. So as you can see, I have hooded eyes. What that means is when I open my eyes, my eyelid disappears. Um, here, I'll move you in a little bit more. Um, so how to correct this, <laughs> it's a little different for everybody. It depends on how hooded your eyes are. But for me, a big thing is bringing my crease up higher with makeup. Um, so again, we're not going really crazy today. This is kind of a like everyday glitter look. So I'm just gonna show you what I would do normally, not when I'm like really going crazy or trying to cut crease or something. But um, one thing that I've been using a lot lately is this e.l.f. Um, cosmic stick. It's a very good dupe for the um, milk uh, holographic stick. Very good dupe for it and for like, you know, a tiny fraction of the price. So I'm coming in here and I'm getting this all on. Just the eyelid itself, not moving up into the crease really. Um, cause I just want to have that nice holographic effect. And then I go ahead and I grab my brush, which I know a lot of people don't like the brush that comes with the Anastasia palettes, but that's what this is. And I love it. This is the one that came with, um, the Renaissance palette and I love it. It's, it's honestly my favorite, my favorite, um, eye makeup brush. So what I do is I go around the lid um, and I'm using um, the Just Peachy from Too Faced, which is one of my absolute favorite palettes. It smells amazing. The colors are gorgeous. 
Um, and I'm using Peach Punch to start with. And I'm just going around the lid, or around the crease. I'm coming up a little, and then you go ahead and open your eye and kind of see where that crease is filling in. And then coming out here and just buffing that out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And again, I'm not being really precise about this right now because I'm just trying to show you kind of how I do my makeup on an everyday when I'm in a hurry kind of basis. So going ahead and buffing that out and then I'm gonna grab some of this one which is Peach Sangria and I'm gonna go really right into that crease and right above it on both sides, right above it. And I have uneven eyes as well. Um, like as you can see, one of my eyes has more eye, like this has, this lid has like no eyelid at all. This one has a little more. So when I'm really trying, when I have time, I correct that more. I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. There are ways to correct that though, to kind of even out the eyes. But I'm getting peach sangria up there and then now blend, 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 as everybody always says. Lots of blend. And it doesn't need to be too perfect because this is just a fun, quick look. So then usually what I do is I go back to Peach Punch. I grab a tiny bit of that and I just put a little bit right along the outer corner of my lower lash line. Because I find if I put warm tones under my eyes, it really helps with <laughs> dark circles, which I have... I get very dark circles and very big under eye bags. So yeah, and again, just kind of, oh, why is that? Stop being blurry, All right? And then just blending that a little, buffing it out. All right, so there's, that's a good, that's a good start for that. And then the next step, the important next step is glitter. Um, so I like using NYX's glitter glue. I think it's amazing. Um, it, the tackiness of it is like perfect because there is a secret to, you know, you want it to be not quite as tacky as like eyelash glue, but you want it to be more tacky than just like a moisturizer or something. Um, so what I do is, and usually I use a brush, but today I'll just show you how to do this with your fingers because it's faster. So, I mean, you only need such a tiny amount. And I go ahead and I pat that in the middle. Uh, I'm gonna do it on the other eye as well. I'm just gonna do it on both eyes first. Um, Pat it in there, and then time for the glitter. Um, I have some new glitters from Sin Cosmetics. Sin Cosmetics is my absolute favorite maker of glitter. Um, very cool company. It's run by a woman. Um, I love supporting my lady-owned businesses. Um, and I recently ordered some new colors they have. This one is called Pawn, and it is like, it's crazy. Like, that looks radioactive. I'm excited. Um, this one is called Halo. It's very pretty. It's got like a color shift. Um, and then this one is called Hybrid, which is kind of similar. It's got a color shift. So I'm going to grab a little bit of our radioactive guy here, um, Pawn. And I'm just going to literally tap a little bit on my finger and then come in here and just press it in. And you know, you can see ooh, that it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of Halo now as well. And I'm gonna press that in, I'm mixing the colors. I like mixing my glitters because I'm just that extra. I like to have really multi-dimensional sparkle. All right, so I pat it 
obviously where the glitter glue was, but I usually pat some around it as well, um, just to, because it'll be a little more sheer in the places where it doesn't actually have the glitter glue. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. And again, this, this is a very quick way of doing this. You can obviously do this in a lot classier, nicer way if you have time. This is if you just need to glitter on the go. All right, so as you can see, that is, that is some, that is some glitter. That is some glitter. Um, so now, uh, I, I, I was like the biggest fan of Kat Von D's tattoo liner for the longest time, and I still love it. It's amazing. Um, but it is, it's a little pricey. Um, not that I mind spending money on good makeup, because I always will. Like, if something is going to work better and it costs a little more, I'll invest. Uh, especially if it will last longer, because that's a big thing for me, makeup coming off during the day. Um, I need stuff that's going to stay put. But um, I had tried at the suggestion of another um, beauty blogger um, that uh, I had tried a physician's formula eyeliner that I absolutely loved and it was honestly just as good as Kat Von D for staying power um, but then recently I tried this new elf um, it's their jet black I think it's called 24 hour waterproof or h2o proof or something like that it's new I need to find out exactly what it's called I'll let you know in the comment in the um, description below what it's actually called but it's pretty good I mean for like you know less than ten dollars you're getting something that feels almost exactly like Kat Von D going on. I won't say that it stays on quite as long as Kat Von D's, um, but it does flake a little after a few hours, but I just carry mine with me during the day and touch up if I need to. But with this, you don't want to do anything too crazy. You just want to do, you know, a little bit of definition um around the eyes and again because i have hooded eyes i don't i don't tend to do like crazy wings or anything because unless i have a good cut crease it tends to take away my whole eyelid <laughs> so i usually just stick really close to the water line which is why i need eyeliners that won't run because I put it in the water line and also because my eyes are watery because I have allergies like crazy. Okay. So, um, if you wanted, if you had time and you wanted to do something a little extra, I would absolutely suggest popping on lashes for today. I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to just show you a fast glitter look, but I love the NYX, wicked lashes um this is the pair oh, oops <laughs> this is the uh wl11 um risque i love this really good lashes um they look nice they apply nice they the band isn't too heavy um so i do like them and i do suggest them um but today we won't do lashes but now just for finishing touches a little bit of highlight thanks to this is another um this is another nyx product this is their holographic halo shimmer stick which is very similar to that that little one that i used first um by elf the nyx one actually this might be a better dupe for the milk holographic stick because it is bigger and you know you can really just fast uh but i just I rub mine in real fast. I'm, I'm again, very fair. So I tend to use, um, I tend to use highlighters that have like a blue undertone because it looks better usually on me. Um, but not always. Sometimes I'll go a little bit more golden, like a rose gold, especially if I want to look, that's on days where I want to look more like pretty and done rather than like fun and weird. Um, so last step, I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of blush on. 
I'm not picky about blush, honestly. I, I don't wear blush every day. I should, but I don't. Um, so this is, this is an e.l.f. blush. This is in blushing. Um, I don't spend much money on blush just because I don't use it all the time. But, you know, I pop a little on, kind of get the cheeks, get the cheeks looking healthy. Um, so yeah, that is a, you know, fun, fast glitter look that you can do just you know a lighter color here a nice warm tone above tiny bit of eyeliner and most importantly glitter um, it's going to give you that really fun sparkly look fast and people will think you put a lot of effort in even though it really only takes almost no time at all so anyway I hope you enjoyed this. This was the first one. This was kind of a beginner one for me and for everybody watching. Um, so yeah, awesome. Well, make sure to hit subscribe so that you'll be notified when I post more videos and you won't miss anything. I'm going to be doing some get ready with me's and some chats and other fun stuff soon. So yeah. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what your favorite glitter is. And uh, let me know if you've ever tried Sin Cosmetics. They're amazing. I love them. It's S-Y-N, by the way. But yeah. All right. Awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.